Hi and welcome to week three. I'm Hannah from Blue Ferret Boarding and this month we are talking all about ferret foods to celebrate National Picnic Month in July. And this week I really just want to talk a little bit more about raw foods and foods that are not specifically ferret foods but that you can give your ferrets. And I did talk about that last week but this is such a big important topic that I'm going to say it again because I need this to be spread as far and wide as possible because there's still a lot of misinformation about what ferrets eat. So I'm going to say it again people. Ferrets are obligate carnivores. That means they must only eat meat. They should not eat and cannot eat anything with vegetables in it, anything with fruit in it, uh, anything with grain in it such as wheat based things. Um, they cannot really take very much salt or sugar either and shouldn't. They can't, you know, don't give them raisins, don't give them chocolate, anything like that really. So when we talk about meat, we are talking about unprocessed meat. We're talking about things that you buy from the supermarket that you'd feed yourself. This is pork heart. You can get liver, lamb's liver, kidney, things like that. You can also get just breast chicken, chicken wings, chicken drumsticks that you'd buy for humans um, and they can eat all of that. Thigh, um, the thigh fillets. You can get uh, pork loin. Pork loin's fine for them. I would imagine pork belly's probably got a little bit too much fat because um, a pork belly has a lot of fat in it. So I would probably be, maybe it's a bit of a treat, but the ratio of protein to fat in just pork belly, I would be like, mm, I wouldn't feed them just that pork belly. I'd give them a little bit of that plus more meat. So if you're going to give a bit of pork belly raw, then maybe bulk it out mainly with raw chicken. So it's a bit more of a treat and balancing that. Um, I'm trying to go through my meats. Minced pork, obviously. Um, can't think of any other particular porks. Pork medallions. Uh, so beef, you can any of the steak types if you're really flush. Uh, any of minced meat, minced beef is always good. Turkey, turkey mince, turkey breast, turkey thigh, whatever the heck. Uh, I think those are the main meats. I can't think of any more off the top of my head other than maybe goose and things like that, which are a bit geek posh. But again, those are just the same. Um, in terms of fish, if they will eat fish, crack on. Um, I found mine aren't as keen on fish. My little girl, Moosey Moo, did used to like her salmon though. Um, and as I've mentioned before, she did like her shellfish. She liked her prawns, were well, either cooked or raw. She liked prawns. Um, but mine haven't really been over bothered with fish. Again, if you've got ferrets that are into their fish, do make a comment below and tell us which types. But the thing to remember is nothing to be processed. So if you're looking at fishes, nothing processed, nothing with any marinades, nothing smoked, nothing with pepper on it, nothing with any chili sauces on it. This is unadulterated fish with or without the bones, as long as it's raw. Don't really give them cooked fish unless you can be sure that there's no bone in it. It is still a very small bone, but to be on the safe side, I would be saying don't give them cooked fish unless you are sure it's a fillet. Prawns, as I've mentioned before, you're fine with. Going back to then your meats, your heart, your livers, your, if you can get hold of lung, why not? Um, kidneys. Livers and kidneys are quite, as I mentioned before, they're quite a rich type of organ to eat um, because of their function in the body. So again, a bit like with the, if you were going to give a bit of pork belly, I would be mixing that in with other things so that they're not, or have it as a treat, or just put a little bit in with something else to bulk out so they're not having a lot of that richness all the time. It's good for them, but not in huge quantities because it can be a bit rich. Um, heart's fine. Uh, so what did I say? Pork medallions. Again, I wouldn't really be giving them pork cooked personally. I don't know why. I think it's probably just better for them raw. Beef, I would probably give to them raw as well. Again, though, with beef and pork, do not give them anything that's been processed. So any meatballs, meat burgers, meat sausages, anything else where that meat has been changed, had things added to it and moved on. Bacon, no. 
ham, no, gammon, no. All of those have been processed or cured and in that process there'll have been salts added at least and there'll have been other things. And even if you're going to the shop and you see a little bit of roast chicken and it's on offer, it's cooked roast chicken and it's on offer, have a look and see what, because quite often they'll have pumped sugar into it to help brown the outside. And so I will try and look at the labels and be sure if there is a bit of sugar on it, but if it's a really good deal because it's 10p, because it's 10 o'clock at night and they're about to close, I might buy it and just only give them a very, very small amount or I'll pull off the little bit or chop off the little bit where the sugar is. But on the whole, I'll be trying to go for a cooked chicken, um, you know, the kind of stuff you put in your sandwiches. I'd be trying to go for that and checking on the back to see what else is in it to be sure that there isn't a great amount of sugar in there. So just be aware of things like that. Keep away from your hands, as I say. Um, but that sort of stuff's fine. Um, the other thing, as I mentioned last week, there's a lot of the dog foods that are great for ferrets, but there's a lot of the dog foods that are not great for ferrets because dogs are um, uh, omnivore, so they can eat meat and vegetables. So you need to steer clear of any of the products that are meat and vegetables for dogs. But if you can find stuff that is just meat for, for, uh, for dogs, then you're on a winner. So things like this, and they have a whole different load of them. Things like this are great. It's just meat in blocks, minced up, and there's bone and stuff in there. So it's not human grade meat, but it's still a good grade meat for ferrets. And, you know, this is frozen, so you can just go a whole, a whole bunch put it in the freezer, jobs a squirrel, take it out. Um, I think it's Durham Foods, as I've mentioned before. Also do a similar one in a sausage shape um, that you can just slice, take a bit out, slice or slice it up and pack it. Um, and, and you can work with that. Um, what else is there? Egg. <clears throat> Egg is a really, really good one. Uh, especially for a poly ferret because the amount of water in the egg it's really good to keep them hydrated. So if I've got a poorly ferret or a ferret for whatever reason is slightly dehydrated, I might often give them egg to quickly hydrate them and then the protein in there is brilliant for them. Raw egg is fantastic and if you've got the space, give them the entire egg so let them break it and eat the shell and do the whole thing. It's a bit of fun for them if you've got the space and you don't mind a bit of mess. A cooked egg is also fine for them but again I would personally just prefer to give them a raw egg. You can mix it in with other things. Um, tuna, as I've mentioned before, you can give them canned tuna, but please, please, please make sure that it's only in spring water and that there's nothing added to it. Again, the rule with ferrets, if it's, even if it's meant to be for ferrets, be aware that there are people who will say this is for ferrets, but when you look in the back, it'll say it contains wheat. So don't just assume that if it's for, got four ferrets on it, that it is good for ferrets. So always always look at the ingredients and you will literally see me at the shops with my glasses on trying to find out what's in it to make sure that I'm happy that that's good for ferrets. So hopefully that's a little bit of a bit more comprehensive list of things you can give ferrets. I think there's still one or two things I've missed off there that are niggling in the back of my brain. Um, but as I say, the main things are only ever raw bone, never cooked bone never ever anything processed always check the packaging to make sure what the additives are and that preferably there aren't any and certainly be very very careful of anything with very much salt or, or well any salt or any sugar added to it because ferrets are so small that that amount of salt while it might not be a lot for a dog it's going to be a heck of a lot for a ferret and that's why I always say steer clear of it. So those are the main rules. Things like egg, uh, kidney and liver are great for ferret but they're all quite rich foods the yolk especially of, of an egg so maybe don't be given that daily unless it's with other food rather than just that um, otherwise you'll be grand any questions any comments what do you feed your ferrets tell us below next week we're going to be looking at how and what to feed sick ferrets and then we're going on to treats I will see you next week. Take care and keep liking my videos. Bye bye for now.